This, uh, most of you are familiar with this. I've presented before uh, council on this before. This is the 29th Street uh, softball complex. It's been there for many years. It's in a big state of disrepair. Uh, it's loaded, located right across the river from Kirby Park. Here's Kirby Park down here. So what, just, just an overall, again, you, all of you have seen this, but just to give you a rundown of what we're, we're looking at, uh, we're going to demolish the existing band shell, uh, upgrade the existing baseball field, which is the main field here, um, including irrigation materials, fencing, et cetera. Uh, new bleachers, the existing practice fields will remain as they are. A new pre prefabricated pedestrian bridge down here at the bottom. Uh, a new six foot walking trail, uh, regrading these fields down here along the river and using them as practice fields, uh, a wildflower area. Um, we have an existing parking lot that we're going to make it ADA accessible. Uh, there's a BMX course that we're we're not we're not doing it, but we're allowing the space for a local group to come in and, and do That's that. That's not been approved by. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, let's yeah, not I'll, put it get, out there as it's going to happen because right, we don't know too. that there's approval for that. Um, and then a, a new toilet and septic system. So um, we said we have a quote of $1.9 million, not to exceed. Uh, we're doing this as a job order contracting process, which is, uh, if you're familiar with buy board uh, process, basically contractors are on this list that are pre-approved and, and we're negotiating uh, a contract with them. They are value engineering as we speak. Uh, I was. Uh, Basically, as of right now, they've already uh, talking about lowering that $150,000 at least, uh, probably a little bit more, based on just value engineering some of the items, talking to the subcontractors, getting lower prices. Uh, but I'm still working on them on, on maybe looking at different vendors for different things and maybe lowering it even more. However, we're still above that $1.5 million. million. Well, here's a concern I have. What I just read says an amount not to exceed one million five. You have on here not to exceed one million nine. So we're four hundred thousand off from this slide versus what the language on our agenda says. The slide should not be stated that way. So it's still the not to exceed one point. Yes, ma'am. The, the contractor's proposal is is one point nine. But since we cannot accept a one point nine dollar amount because all we have is one point five. All you could approve today is a not to exceed of 1.5. What we'll be asking you to do is approve a not to exceed 1.508546 with authorization for staff to uh, value engineer uh, the agreement to get it back into that budget with a representative from council. In this case, it should be Tom representing that. Correct. And, and I know that's a little confusing and that, and that didn't help, but that's, that's basically what it is. is 1.5 is what we have, so I am negotiating with the contractor to try to get that down. And then uh, you mentioned the BMX trail. Uh, as everybody knows, this is not our land. This is Corps of Engineer land. So they have the final say-so on what's approved and not approved here. Uh, Carl is working with them. They, they were originally approved this uh, idea when we started, uh, including the BMX. But the pedestrian bridge wasn't in the proposal then. We have Carl's resent them the proposal a while back, including the bridge, and he just heard recently that they're hesitant about approving the pedestrian bridge. Uh, they're concerned about liability on it. Uh, they're also hesitant on approving the BMX course. The BMX course is no big deal because, again, we, we're not really doing anything there. We were just going to allow somebody else to come in and, and develop that. But the bridge could be an issue. Uh, so. I'm going to say right now, the bridge and the restroom are both roughly three hundred thousand uh, dollars. I know that from from conversations with him. Uh, so, if the bridge were to not be approved, that gets us below the one point five uh, just by itself. Uh, however, we think the bridge is a very key part of this, so we're going to yes. do everything we can to very. get that keep that bridge in there. So, if we have to, if we can't get the valley engineering down anywhere else, uh, another option is to get, delete the restroom. Uh, there are restrooms already at Kirby Park, but it's a long ways from this baseball field over to, to Kirby Park. So if we have to, that's, that's another area we can do that. But the question mark on the liability issue, it's their land, but I'm assuming we have a contract with them to use that land. Correct. And I would assume the contract could read uh, the city would 
own the liability attached to that bridge, that it would not be the Corps of Engineers' responsibility, and if we could correct that language to be reflective of that, because that bridge is very important. It right. connects Kirby and, Park to this. And I, and I don't know if Teresa or Carl could speak further to that, but I, that sounds like something we could probably do. Yeah, we can contract any of that liability away. I'm a little bit um, confused on what liability they believe they have for yeah. a pedestrian bridge in the first place, and sometimes there are a people lot of throw them. that out as the reason when there's really they just don't want to do it and there's not another reason. So I'm not sure what their actual concerns about liability are, but we could always try to negotiate language so that we assume. Let's work that. on that because that bridge is hugely important and either we need to relook at that contract to be inclusive or understand what they consider liability since we have a lot of pedestrian bridges, um, not necessarily on the Corps of Engineer property, but we have a lot of them, so it's not like we're not used to issues. So that to me is really important. and agreed that the restroom's quite a distance away if we don't have, I mean, so we need we need both of those things to happen, and, so. Yes, ma'am, and it could be, there's, there's other things we're looking at uh, that fence, we're replacing all the fencing, but it's really not in terrible shape. So, you know, that's another item where we, if we leave the existing fencing, I don't know if that'll get us down below that number or not, but we're looking at different things and also, uh, looking at diff, a diff, maybe a different company to do the bathrooms or a different company to do, to do the bridge even, uh, maybe get a lower price on some of those. So he, he's, he's looking around and we're, we're trying to do some value engineering. But, well, but I'm, just, I'm just telling you, those are two, yeah. you know, and, and they're a catch-22 because if the bridge is gone, we almost have to have the bathroom because you yes. can't get over to Kirby Park. Correct. Uh, but if the bridge is there, then the bathroom could technically go away, but it is a long ways over there. So This project's been sort of out there for quite a while. We really need to get this project moving forward. Right. Tom, it's your district, and I know you have thoughts about it. Yeah, I just want to see the momentum stay behind it, move it forward. We've talked about it. We're to that point. You know, there's a picture of what we'd like to have the bridge, but... It looks great. I mean, the number one thing you get calls about is, like, in the spring... Soccer teams, baseball teams, everybody, and you don't realize what's over there because of basically the obstructions down the river. And I think if you clean it up and put those two together, it would look really, really nice. And so I, it's something I'd like to see move forward. You know, I'll make a motion to approve with Rick. You had some nomenclature statements that need to be in there allow you all to value. Uh, and Teresa may be able to state it better, but basically that we be able to value engineer the project to, to bring it into the – Allocated budget. You can amount. do the microphone, please. I don't know if it's on. Does oh, that help? Rick's microphone's anyway, not rate, on. So basically, bring that into budget with value engineering and authorizing Tom to be the representative from council to help us make those decisions. So I would make that motion. That would be what Rick just stated. Allow y'all to value engineer that. I would be primary. I would at least stay. I should not be the only person on council that should be allowed input. I have a second in case I have a heart attack or fall off a fall agility off course. A log. Well, I, I think I do. it's either Lucy or Harry. Yeah, Lucy. Lucy let's make Lucy. Because I think those two, you know, need to be together on that. I, I do want to bring another item up uh, t for your consideration is maintenance costs. And again, Roger and, and Carl can speak some more to this, but they have a they've estimated a one-time non-recurring cost of ninety-three thousand dollars. And then personnel and operating costs of $116,000 annually. Uh, well, here's so what I would say about that. Number one, it's not even done yet. Right. So talking about maintenance costs today when we don't even have approval to move forward on it is way the hen, the egg before the cart before the horse. Or the or horse, horse. Or I think Lucy could do that. Lucy yeah. could volunteer 116. These, but ca staff has been hammered in the past for not warning council what the maintenance costs are going to be. So you don't have to take any action on this today. We're not asking for that. But we are simply telling you this is an upcoming budget. You will see these numbers come back. And when it so impacts the budget, bring it forward. We're, we for, we're warned. We get it. Let's get the park done. And this is our expected timeline, assuming, you know, things get So get in 2024. Mm -hmm. So we got a ways here before you even start. Mm -hmm. Is this correct? Yes. Is that no construction starts in October? Mm -hmm. yeah, so we'll get it done within six months, six, eight months. So it would be ready for next summer. Fantastic. So. Yeah. Yes, Larry, please. Uh, I think we all agree that the bridge and the restrooms are critical. Have you considered cutting anything else out from this project? 
Those two items to me are extremely important. Yes, sir. Uh, like I said, we, we're looking at uh, and some little things right off the bat, like like we are redoing a little bit of the fence for the BMX was going to go, but if that's not going to happen, that fencing doesn't have to happen. If we don't replace the existing fence around the ball field, like I said, it's not in terrible shape. It'd be nice to replace it, but that's that's a dollar amount. We're also talking about if we have to reducing the amount of walking trails. Uh, we go all the way around, but there's areas where we probably don't have to have walking trails. Uh, concrete is very expensive, as you know, so that that would uh, go a long way. So we're looking at different things uh, sca that we can scale down on. Has also assessed some of the existing bids to see if he can get better ones. So basically, on the concrete, he's looked at a way to reduce that cost by potentially up to hundred thousand dollars. So there's some other things he's looking at in ways to save, and those are where we just need the ability to negotiate with him and work on those. Well, I'll I'll stick with my initial motion, and then I'll just say you know, also throw out the ability for y'all to look and research for funding for future funding for this also. I'll second Ruthie, that. Now, may I, may I, and there's a second on that, but may I offer this comment, it's just an idea. When we get a final number, I believe that this facility was a part of the original ballot items when we approved Since the half cent sales, sales tax. Right. And so my suggestion would be worst case scenario, if we have to go to Costa DC, to get some balancing of funds to complete this project because it's four, five years, ten years since the ballot was approved, but this park was approved. And I think that at some point, should we have to to make this park have all the things that we believe are important to it, that we ask for that consideration. I think my last statement there said, or reach out and find other types of funding may cover exactly what you just said. Okay. That's not my idea. All right. I gotta, <laughs> yeah. I, there's smarter people here than me. Trust yeah. me. With I'll take that, credit for it. Okay. So there is a, a motion. There is a second. It's open for public comment if there is anyone left in the audience. I can't see because that screen's right in front of me. We're good. So we're good. So let's take a vote. All those in favor of the motion as made by Tom Thompson, please say aye. 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 With none opposed, that passes 6-0.